Trump is kicking ass in Florida. Can you believe that? I wish, I only wish the press was honest and they'd show you. They won't, you know that. Why don't you show it? Go ahead. Show the crowd. I think I'm going to win Iowa. You know, a lot of people said, it was so foolish that he said he thinks he's going to win. I don't care. I'm doing great with the evangelicals. And in the country, I'm leading with evangelicals, OK? Ted Cruz. He's been really, really nice. Other than the last couple of days, getting a little testy. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. You got a little problem. You got to make sure you can run. A lot of lawyers say you can't run. You can't be born in Canada. That's not so good. What do you do? Concede the election to Hillary Clinton or to crazy Bernie? Right? Every country in the world is ripping us off. And it's a real bad scene. And it's going to continue if you put any of these other people. It's not going to continue with me. And we're not going to have Ford move to Mexico as an example. Hey, again, I love Mexico. I love Mexican people, they're great people. I have thousands of Hispanics who work for me. I work with Hispanics. We are going to make America so great again. The American dream is dead, but we're going to make it bigger and better and stronger than ever before, and I love you. Thank you very much, everybody. Trump playing the crowd like a maestro. The fervor of the fans, where people feel like they're part of a movement. Rockstar quality. You can't buy it, you can't bottle it, you either have it or you don't have it. If Donald Trump wins some combination of Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, we will see a titanic fight within the party, unlike I can recall seeing in my career. It's a fight for the soul and the future of the Republican Party.